everybody. Assembling inspirational spaces. I want to share with you why good construction companies should be thinking about transitioning their mission statement to something like this, and why that's a change in perspective over the last few years. First, who am I? That's me in the middle, in the hard hat. I'm a construction operations leader for a global company, but first, I'm the granddaughter of a master woodworker, the daughter of a pretty skilled carpenter, but the first in my family to actually go into construction professionally. And I didn't really know what I was getting into when I started, but thought, you know what, why not? I like hard hats, I like boots, it'll be fun. <laughs> All right, back to the talk at hand. Assembling inspirational spaces. Because my brain works this way, but English doesn't, we're gonna actually go from the bottom to the top. So spaces, the last one was a clue. I'm talking buildings. I mean these great places that we construct that allow all of you to do the incredible things that you've heard many people already talk about. That's what really lights me up about construction, the human element. There's people involved in how we do construction, and there's people involved in the spaces that we create them for. More on that to come. All right, next one, inspirational. Stick with me, I'm an engineer by trade, so words are, you know. But I threw it in a thesaurus and thought, am I on to the right thing? And I started to see some trends. You know, beneficial. What does a building feel like when it's beneficial? How about enriching? Do you know what a space feels like when it's enriching? How about regenerative? What if our spaces were regenerative? Yeah, all of a sudden you start thinking, okay, I can visualize it. Well, like with most things, pictures are worth more words, more than words, so we'll do some examples. Imagine, if you will, you're going to your first job. If you were in 1970, this might be your office. Are you feeling enriched? Are you feeling inspired? Are you solving the next great problem here? I don't know about that. If you're lucky today, you might walk into an office that looks like this. Automatically, you feel better. Why? There's actually science behind it. You start to realize things like plants, biophilia, fancy words, views, windows, space, color. We've understood over time that the function of a building is so intricately related to how humans feel in it. How about one more? This actually looks like the classroom I went to school in. So anyone going to school in the 1980s, this looked pretty familiar. Again, do we feel like we're really learning? Is that creativity, is that curiosity being sparked? Mm, not so much. My daughter gets to go to schools in places that look like this. Meeting kids where they are. You know, do you wanna be on a high table, on a low table, on a beanbag chair? What's gonna make you curious and inspired? So the World Health Organization has actually studied and, and made a term for this, healthy buildings. They're the buildings, a space, the physical, psychological, social health, well-being of people. So we know what it is. We need to build healthy spaces. And the, the data's in. If you look at the Well Building Institute, they'll explain to you that absenteeism goes down. People come to work. Presenteeism goes down. The quiet quitting we hear more and more about. People are engaged. Actual cognitive function goes up. People do better in good spaces. All right, I'm seeing nodding. Everybody knows they want to go to the second two places. <laughs> Pretty obvious, right? All right, so we're, we're nailed on the inspirational. Let's do that. So let's build this. What could be more inspirational, right? Wow. Well, there's a couple issues here. There's probably some reasons why we'll never be able to build this again. For those of you that don't recognize it, Sagrada Familia in Barcelona, one of the main reasons, it's been under construction for 141 years, and they're gonna need three more years to complete it. We're still not done. The last time you guys maybe went out to eat, to the airport, even around the corner, you maybe saw a trend. We're out of people. We're really struggling to find the resources it takes to build inspirational places. Sagrada Familia might take 500 years if we did it today. Now, there's been some advances in technology and 3D modeling that maybe help us along, but play along with me. So that's the macro concept. How do we solve it, and what's a micro example? Oh, just to let you know, I'm not lying. Here's the, the math. In fact, job vacancies are way up. And here in the Netherlands, it's, it's double that, 4.5% here in the Netherlands. We just don't have people to fill the roles we need help with. All right, I'm going to test you on your estimating. I won't make you say the words out loud. 
But think about it, we've got two people here on the left, they're getting ready to build that cabinet. Setting up, get their tools, how long do you think it takes to go from the left to the right of the image? How many hours are these guys gonna spend building that cabinet? I won't test you. What if I told you I did it in 30 minutes? <laughs> right? And that's normal in that instance. So how do we do that for Sagrada Familia or, so it's the concept of prefabrication. It's a simple definition. It's the idea of putting things together that have been manufactured before. Assembly, we're to my third word, right? Inspiring, and we need to assemble it. Assembling inspirational spaces. If you're not a construction company that's figuring out how to do this, you're being left behind. So all I need is a hospital that comes in a flat pack with an Allen wrench, and we're gonna be right there. And the truth is, we're not that far from this being possible. And the other truth is, construction is still done traditionally a lot of the time. It's, I'm, I maybe left out some of the complexity of how this gets solved, but it needs to be solved. And the construction companies that start thinking of products instead of projects will win the efficiency war here. So, like everyone has before, we'd love for you to come join us on that journey. And if construction sounds a little more exciting as something that you're gonna figure out how to assemble the next incredible space, or maybe cancer gets cured, or maybe we come up with the next you know, global banking solution, I can give you a tip on how to ease that job interview. Ask the guys there what they're doing about making sure they're ready to assemble the future spaces we need and make sure they're inspirational. Thanks guys.